Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I will be going through a tutorial on how to use Adobe's new video editing software called Premiere Rush. Premiere Rush is a new addition to the Adobe Video Tools where you can edit across your devices and go from your mobile to your iPad to your desktop or laptop devices. All your files are synced automatically to the Creative Cloud, meaning that if you start on your mobile device, you can go ahead and finish your project on your laptop. An added bonus is if you wanted to take your video projects even further, what you can do is you can actually open your Adobe Premiere Rush projects inside of Premiere Pro. In this video, I will show you two ways of using Premiere Rush. So I will do a tutorial via your laptop and the second way is via a mobile device. I'll pop up the times on the screen now. So if you wanted to jump straight into either the desktop or the mobile version of the tutorial, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if you're sticking around and watching the whole video, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Go ahead and download Adobe Rush in the App Store. I'm simply clicking on it now. I'm already logged in, so what I'll simply do is click on the plus button, and this will bring up my Create New Project button, which I will click on. Next, I will choose the location of my video, so I'll simply click on videos from my camera roll, and I will go ahead and select some of my clips. Next, I'll go give it a project name, so I'll just call this Project USA. And now this will prepare the media and add them to a timeline. I am simply selecting a clip using two fingers to zoom into the clips. And then what I can also do is click and drag the clips to rearrange them. Next, I'll just move my current time indicator, the blue line to the beginning of the clip. And let's say we wanted to start color grading this. So I will simply click on color at the bottom. This brings up all the color presets options. So what I'll do is I'll just click through them and just show you a preview. Next, you can also click on edit, which will bring up all the intensity levels in here. So you can manually adjust the saturation, exposure and highlights. Once you're happy with that, just go ahead and toggle that off. And now go ahead and preview the color grading you've applied. Next, let's trim this clip. So move your current time indicator to your point you want to trim and simply click on the scissors. This has automatically split the clip into two clips. So what you can see here where the orange is highlighted, that is one clip. Next, let's go ahead and give this a title. So move the blue line, current time indicator back to the beginning, press the blue button and then go ahead and choose title. What we have here are professionally designed motion graphic templates, which are free for you to use inside of Premiere Rush. I will simply go ahead and select one. And once I do that, I have the titles in this edit menu to go ahead and double click and change the main title. Next, let's go ahead and double click on the subtitle. Let's give it a subtitle, let's say day one. Next, go ahead and click on the shape layer and you can actually change the fill color as well. Next, we can go ahead and change the font in here. So it brings up a menu. I'm gonna go ahead and choose snail round hand. Next, I'll simply click and drag and move this around to reposition this. Now I'll collapse the option and go back to my timeline. I can click on the text layer here and I'll go ahead and just expand the duration. Next, let's click on transitions and this brings up the presets. Let's choose dip to black and in the slider we can adjust the duration. Let's go ahead and press play to just preview this dip to black transition. If you zoom into the clips, you can actually see the dip to black transition, which has been placed between the clips. 
Let's go ahead and add another title. So what I'll do is I'll just speed this up. Next, you can also have a look at changing the aspect ratio to landscape, portrait, or square. Next, let's click on the audio, and here you can actually adjust the clip volume as well. So what we can do is let's have a listen. Let's move the current time indicator to the beginning. See the dip to black. Another transition and then the title that we created as well. Okay, and that's it. And then finally click on the top right icon to click to upload. In the screen you can see, go in ahead and toggle the quality settings. And the presets, you can see that you will have several options for you to choose from. Then simply hit export and now you can sit back and relax while this is rendering. And that's it. How mind-blowingly easy was that? Next, what you can do is you can go ahead and share this across your social channels such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or Behance right from the Premiere Rush app. I'll drop in the 24 second video that I've just created for you to have a look. you can do is you can go ahead and start off with create a new project okay so what you see in this interface right here is on the left hand side are the locations for all your files okay so you can get your files of creative cloud if you have some creative cloud files there dropbox icloud drive what I'll do is they also give you sample media uh, what I'll do is for today I will go ahead and just edit uh, some videos that I took in uh, America last year. Okay, so I've already created a folder in here, so I'm inside my desktop. All I'll do is double click inside of USA. As you can see on the screen, I have several clips in here. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and start selecting them. Okay, so I'll select the six clips. At the bottom in here, I can give it a project name, so I can just call this USA. And then I can hit create on the bottom right. Okay, next what you will see in this interface here, let's talk you through the whole interface first and then I'll jump into uh, editing the clips. So in the bottom here you have all your clips which have been added on. Okay. And then let's just start from the top left, okay? So in home, that's where we saw um, the start page where we could create a project. We're inside the edit menu now. We'll go into the share screen a little later on. Okay, so with the plus button, when you hover your mouse over, that tells you what it is. So you can add more media. So if you add plus, you can add title, media, and even do a voiceover. And then next on here, it says you can have a look at the project panel, okay? So when you click on that, you can see all your clips in this project panel. What I'll do is I will go ahead and collapse um, the assets in here. Okay, and then left we have um, the scissors to trim and split your clips. We have a duplicate option, we have a delete option, and then we can also expand the audio. When you click on that, you can see your audio files in here. And then finally at the bottom, you can control the tracks. So in this window pop-up, if you're familiar with Premiere Pro, for example, you have the same option. So you can see your video timeline has its own layer. You have the audio in here. You have the lock functionality to lock the track. You can mute the track and you can turn the visibility on and off. Okay. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just collapse this one now. Okay. And then let's have a look on the right hand side. So the right hand side, you have options 
to add titles, transitions, color, audio, and to crop and rotate. So the next thing we're going to do, so now that I've added my clips in here, what I'll do is perhaps I will add a soundtrack. So as you can see the footage that I have taken, they do have audio attached to them. But I'll show you in a sec how we can uh, mute the volume on these clips if we wanted to play a soundtrack in the background. So I'm going to add a soundtrack. I'm just going to use a sample soundtrack provided by Premiere Rush. So remember up on the top left here we can add media. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and choose media. Okay, so in here um, by default you can go down to your media browser. Media browser if you recall at the beginning we I selected clips from the desktop okay so let's go down to the bottom so sample media are the sample video footage um, that Premiere Rush has provided for you I will need soundtracks as I mentioned so let's go ahead and click on that okay on here they have given you um, a few uh, soundtracks that you can use uh, that are copyright free so I'll show you how we can go ahead and just do a preview of them so for example Band, you can click on this little icon to expand it and in here press play to listen to a preview so I'll go ahead and do that now okay we can listen to another one maybe colony quite like that one so that may be one that I'll use scroll down let's have a look let's listen to streams maybe very relaxing so you get the idea there's some here for you to choose so I think I'll go with colony you can see that um, it has selected it and says one so you can go and add more if you wanted to I'll just choose one for now and then down at the bottom I'll simply click add okay now I will just go ahead and close this window you can see colony has been added if I go ahead and just press play okay so not only do you hear the actual soundtrack, you also hear the original um, sound that's coming from the video footage. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at these clips. I'm simply going to click on the audio click and drag it to the beginning. Okay, and what I'll do is at the bottom in here, you have um, this option to zoom in and out of your clips. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom right out. You can see quite a long audio file um, because obviously I don't have that many clips. Okay, so let's go ahead in the first instance and trim the music. So you can see when I hover my cursor at the end, it gives you the uh, red arrow bracket pointing to the left. Okay, so with this, what I can do is simply click and drag. When I reach the end here, you can see that there will be a black line that will just basically let you snap it to the um, video clip that's above it. Okay, so I have snapped that. Um, if you didn't want to use the zoom in and out option at the bottom in here, uh, it has the same keyboard shortcuts as Premiere Pro. So it is the plus and minus key on your keyboard. Okay, so that's what I'm hitting right now, plus and minus. The reason why you have the zoom in, zoom in and out option is so you can really get into the clips. Because for example, some of my clips may be say 10 seconds long and you um, can't see that fully zoomed out. Okay. Next, what we will do is if you click on your clips, you can rearrange them by simply clicking and dragging, okay? As you can see, while I am doing that, what's happening is you have your music clip that is being dragged again. It's attached to the first one. So again, just click and just drag it back to the beginning. Okay, so let's have a look at some options in here, okay? So let's go ahead and play this first clip, and I'll press play. Keyboard shortcut is the spacebar. Okay, so with the first clip in here, I probably won't trim it. Um, I'll keep it as is. I think it was, let's see, maybe this one here. Let's trim this clip. So I'll just play this for you. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll probably just clip... Um, trim this clip maybe instead of starting from here I'll 
let's say I'll start from here just so we know we know that we're at the San Francisco bridge okay so let's click on the clip here and I'll simply click on the scissors here to split the clip okay so as you can see what I've done in here as soon as I've clipped it you can see that now this clip has split into two clips so again I'll just zoom um, zoom in here just so we can see these two clips that I've trimmed so what I want to do is I want to get rid of this clip here, so this at the beginning. So what I'll do is I'll click, simply click on the delete button, the trash can icon, and the clip is gone, just like that. So now I'll just press play. Yep, that's about right. Okay, so next thing that I want to do is let's add a transition, okay? So what I'll do is if we come over to the right hand side here, the second one here, if you hover your mouse, it tells you it's a transition. So let's go ahead and click on that. So currently, there's no transition at the moment. You have several options. You've got a cross dissolve, a dip to black, and dip to white. Let's go ahead and choose a dip to black. Okay, so as soon as I clicked on that, you will see that because I've selected this particular clip here, the dip to black transition has appeared at the front of the clip and at the end of this particular clip. So again, let's zoom in, okay? So you can see why zooming in is um, a really important function here, so we can really see the transition if we wanted to zoom right in. Okay, so in this transition here, let's go ahead and just bring the current time indicator here. So that's this blue line that's called a current time indicator. So if we go ahead and press play just to see how the transition looks like. So if you have a look here, let's see how the dip to black looks like. Okay, so very quick. So what I'll do is, let's just zoom out of the clip a little bit. Let's just play that one more time. Okay, you see that zoom, that dip to black. So what I'll do is, I can bring my mouse over the, the transition. So you will see the square red brackets. I can simply click and drag this. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm expanding the transition. So I'm expanding it so these it dips uh, more uh, dips to black more at this first clip and then just a tad in the next clip. So you can see how this um, has performed. So I'll go ahead and press play. Okay, so you can see what I've done is I've just uh, basically expanded the transition in here so it's a bit longer the duration is longer at the end of this clip and very short in the next clip okay so let's go ahead and zoom out so we've added one transition and we have another dip to black transition in here what i'll do is perhaps let's come down here maybe this time uh down the end here let's go ahead and add a cross dissolve okay and let's have a look at how the cross dissolve looks like Okay, very nice. So I can again do the same thing, zoom in, and I can actually make this duration longer for the cross dissolve transition. So go ahead and play that. Alrighty, so you get the idea, so that's transitions for you. Okay, so let's zoom out of the clips. Okay, so let's go back um, to this clip here. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and adjust the color grading of this, okay, looking a bit dull in this um, clip that I took so what I'll do is on the right hand side again hover your mouse this one is a third one down is color so let's go ahead and click on that okay so what you have inside of Premiere Rush are built-in presets okay so built-in presets so let's go ahead and choose cinematic for example what I'll do is I'll just flick through them so you can just take a look at what all these transitions look like okay so perhaps let's say I want to just start off with cinematic. What's great is down at the bottom, I can go ahead and adjust the intensity. Okay, so because it's quite intense um, all the way here, so I'm scrubbing down here for the intensity. Alternatively, what I can do is I can go ahead and flick over to this edit functionality. So edit option. And what you have here are the, ex um, are the options to go ahead and manually change each of these options such as exposure okay the contrast highlights shadows temperature tint vibrance and saturation okay let's say I'm happy with this let's preview this clip in here I'm gonna press play
Okay, I'm not 100% happy with that, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just move on. Okay, so next thing that we can have a look at is we can go in and add in a title. So let's go to the beginning here, at this clip. Okay, so let's go and add in a title up here. So up on the top, hover your mouse, tells you what it is, title, go ahead and click on that once. What's great is what you have in here, a professionally designed motion graphics templates. So what Adobe has provided are these awesome templates, the exact same that you get inside of Premiere Pro, okay? So these are professionally done and they look very, very nice. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just select one. In your own time, you can take a look at all the ones that they've provided for you. Okay, let's go ahead and choose the stylish outro, okay? Okay, so next in here, you can see it's popped it on your timeline. The first thing that I'll do is I will we'll simply um, zoom into the timeline and I will go ahead and click and drag this so it's at the beginning of the timeline. So hover my current time indicator back to here. First thing I will do is I will go ahead and probably um, change the text in here. I will call this um, the adventures of Rosie. Okay, and then um, let's go ahead and change this in here. I can call this San Francisco. Okay, so what you have in here, I'll just go ahead and just play this title for you. Okay. It's, looking very cool already but what we can do is let's say we wanted to change the color scheme because they are templates and provided for you already you can go ahead and customize this and make it more personal add a personal touch on there so what I'll do is I'll switch over and go ahead and just make sure I'm clicking uh, make sure it's clicked and highlighted and selected so San Francisco the title is selected on the right hand side we're still inside our titles um, option so from the styles, let's go ahead and switch over to the edit menu. So in the edit in here, you will see several options. So you've got the title of um, the first title, you've got the shape layer, you've got the second um, title, the subtitle, and you've got the shape. So let's go ahead first and open up this first title. In here, what we can do is we can go ahead and change our font. Okay, so if you wanted to go ahead and change your font in here, I will go ahead and just have a look at other options sizing you can go ahead and scrub through this okay i'll just leave it as is down here color fill so currently the text is white i can go ahead and choose another color so let's say we wanted a orangey color so i'll go ahead and choose in here and click okay all right so what we can do next i'll go ahead and collapse this maybe the shape this time the first shape it's this uh, lovely pink, but I'll go ahead and change it here, the color fill. Perhaps I will choose a teal color. So there we go. Okay, and maybe I'm deciding I'm wanting to change the text again. So I'll go back to here, and this time maybe give it a darker color. So maybe instead, this time maybe a purple color. And click OK. What we have in here, we have a title. What you can do with your title, you can have it um, expanding this as well. Otherwise, I can just have a short title. So let's go ahead and press play. Cool. So you can see a nice transition where it just plays for a couple of seconds and it disappears. Okay. Next, what we can do is let's go ahead here. Let's go ahead have a look at our audio. Okay. So let's click on audio here. So let's play this and listen to the audio. Okay, so you can hear the sound of this red van. So what I'll do is perhaps I want to mute that, okay? If we have a look on the right-hand side when we click on audio, we have options to crank it up. So I'll just show you how what that sounds like. Let's have it loud. Okay, so you can really hear the car now. So note, that's not what I want. I want to really soften it. Or I can completely mute that. So let me uh, just bring it right down. I, want, I still want to hear a bit of the natural surrounding sound, but not too loud. So let's play that again. OK, 
okay that's better okay so I'm happy with that uh, what's great is there's also other options so what I'll do is I'll go to a different clip let's say let's do this clip here so this was the Airbnb that we stayed at in Oakland near San Francisco it was gorgeous okay so what you hear hearing now it's a bit too much noise I think I mean I love the sound of nature but it's just a bit too loud for this video I'd like to hear more of the music so what I'll do is on the right hand side I can go ahead and turn the clip volume down otherwise I can look at this advanced option when I click on advanced option you can see in this drop down box you do have several options to assign the type of audio it is so if you had like say people talking in the video assign it as voice and, and then if you have music assign it as music otherwise you can click on other so I'm just going to leave it at other here and then what I'll do is I'll just have that soften that just a little bit and press play. Okay, that's better. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, and then last but not least, if we have a look at this crop option, what we can do with this is, say for example, you had a video that was um, a vertical video that you took for Snapchat or Instagram stories, and you wanted to pop it into a landscape video. What's great is you can actually adjust the width of your vertical video by moving the slider and zooming right into the vertical video to fit inside this landscape. You can also change the vertical position, okay, if you need to. The sliders are here, the horizontal position, and you can also, of course, rotate your clips. Next, if you click on the three dots, what you can do is you can actually change the aspect ratio of your clip so if you're choosing landscape for your Vimeo and YouTube you have your portrait so portrait if you have um, video for social media such as your Instagram stories or snapchat and then last but not least you also have your um, square as well if you want to pop that onto Instagram once you're happy with your video go ahead and click on share and your share here what you can do is you can go ahead and save to um, your location Otherwise, you can actually go and publish this straight onto your social channels like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Behance, and then click on export. And there we go. So that's how simple it is to use Premiere Rush. So that's it, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Premiere Rush. If you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.